Hi, I'm Steve. I recently spent the morning wandering through a traditional Korean village, taking a mix of photos from both my camera and my phone. And it was the perfect way to test out what I'm going to show you today. Luminar Neo just got a big major update that's an absolute game changer. Today, I'm going to walk you through the Luminar ecosystem. It's a connected experience that allows you to edit photos across devices, organize your photos seamlessly, and then upload them into beautifully designed spaces. I'm also going to show you the brand new light depth tool that allows you to add dimension, shape, and some drama to your photos. So without further ado, let's get started. Right, so I've got this photo that I'm working with. Uh, I really like this splash of color in the foreground, so we'll definitely be concentrating on that further along. But for now, we're going to start off our edit inside of Luminar Mobile. And this is going to be a light edit, so we'll just do a bit of the enhance tool, and then move over to the structure tool to add some clarity and then let's hey, let's add some curves okay so move that up there that one down there a bit of shadow and a bit more in the highlights all right and that's all for now so we're doing a light edit there's a before and after so it's a good start and now what i'm going to do is move over to the luminar desktop to continue this edit so i'm going to press this back button and you can see it says there it's in the luminar space and then now I'm going to head over to Luminar Neo on my desktop. And then I jump into the Luminar mobile folder. Like so. And then just give that a moment. And then as you can see, it has made itself available. It's there, it's come over from my phone into Luminar Neo. So I click on the photo. And then I can click on import to folder at the top. And then this little window opens up on the right and then I can click open folder. And there we go. Right, let me jump into the edits panel here and show you something that's really cool. So we've got the enhance tool with the same values, the structure tool with the same values and the develop tool with the tone curve as well. This has all come over through the Luminar ecosystem. It's absolutely seamless. And then I can continue my edit. Let's add some vignetting as well. And then we can add some landscape tool here bring out the color in the foreground with that golden hour tool. That's the Luminar ecosystem. You can start and edit, let's say for example, wash right in the field, make a few changes. And then when you get home, you can open it up inside of Luminar Neo on your desktop and either edit or amend a few of those changes that you've already made, or you can add some tools on top to complete your work. Very exciting and it's all very seamless, so be sure to give it a try. Now, something I'm pretty excited about is the new light depth tool. I've got a photo that is the perfect use case for it. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is the photo that I'm working with. And as you can see, I've got a lot of darkness in the foreground here. And I wanna bring details into those areas, but not into the foreground as a whole. So this is where the light depth tool comes into play. As I bring up the amount slider here, you're going to start to see a 3D rendition, a 3D map get created of my image. And as I move this slider backwards and forwards, it's allowing me to relight my photo in a 3D space. It is seriously cool. So I can get really precise with exactly where I want this detail to be brought out of in the image. Let's have a look at the other tools as well. We've got the temperature slider so I can add warmth into those particular areas again which looks good, really want that in this image. And then we've got the softness tool, which is going to allow light to spill into other areas. I don't need it for this photo, so I'll keep that at zero. Then we've got the brightness near. So this foreground area, I want that to be quite dark. So I'm gonna bring that all the way down, actually it looks pretty good as well, but I'm keeping the detail in those areas that I needed it. And then we've got the brightness far as well. If you needed to use that as well, I don't particularly need to for this shot. But yeah, this tool is seriously fun and seriously addicting. I'm just finding myself going through photos and just using it, even if it doesn't need it, just so I can move this slider through a 3D map of my image. It's just so fun. But be sure to give it a try on some of your shots because it is so powerful with how you can relight your image. Let's have a look at a before and after. And that is exactly what I needed for this photo. It has worked perfectly for me. Okay, now let's take a look at spaces. So when you finish the shoot, you can select a group of images and upload them directly to an online gallery. Now the best thing about spaces is you don't need to know a thing about web design or programming. It does it all for you. I'm gonna select this photo here from the Luminar ecosystem. And then when you're ready, you're going to click on this publish to space button here at the top. That's gonna to open up this new space option, which we want to click on. And then we're going to title our online gallery like so. So I'm gonna go for Korean traditional village. Now I'm going to click on publish. All right, we're going to give that a few moments and then we're going to be presented with some options for sharing 
to prospective clients perhaps, family or friends, but I'll go into that in a bit more detail in a moment. Here are all the images that we have selected and then I'm going to click on open here. And here we go. So these are all the images from the selection that I made. They're all nicely presented. And I can click on one and make it full screen. So and then we can run through this little slideshow. We've got the brown eared bulbul, the noisiest bird in Korea, persimmon tree. If we go through this slideshow. It all looks fantastic, very high quality. So what I want you to imagine is if you've just been working with a client, you can send over your space to them for them to make their choices for final selection. Or you can send over your space to prospective clients to let them know the kind of work that you do. Family and friends, if you've just been on a trip, Either way, if you need to share, you click on the share button here, you've got links to social media, or you can click on copy link to email the link directly. So whatever your use case may be, it's such a useful tool for you to showcase your photos in a beautifully presented way, all without having to learn web design or programming. So there we go. You can now start your edits with Luminar Mobile and then move over to Luminar Neo seamlessly. And whilst you're there, give the new light depth tool a try. It's very addicting and fun to use and try it out on photos that you've taken in the past as well and see how much of an impact it can make. And then when you finish your photos, publish them to your space so that you can show your photos to family and friends or even clients with a beautiful presentation. But that's all from me for now. Be sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't already subscribed and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.